This video shows the major steps employed to repair a leaking fitting on a subsea tree using Seal Tight's pressure activated sealant. The ROV is shown here approaching the tree to begin leak repair operations. Here the ROV circles the tree to begin observation of the leak site. The leak location is an NPT fitting. The leak can be observed as a distortion in the water surrounding the NPT fitting. The estimated leak rate from surface pumping observations was 55 to 65 gallons per day. In order to facilitate injection of the sealant, the hydraulic control pod was first removed. The control pod contains valving and restrictions which could create a pressure differential and thus cause premature activation of the sealant. A pod running tool was then lowered containing a dummy pod. This dummy pod contained the manifold and hot stabs necessary to allow injection of hydraulic fluid and sealant into the leak site. The dummy pod was then locked into place providing a hydraulic path from the ROV to the leak site. The high pressure hydraulic fluid hot stab was then removed from the cage. The high pressure hydraulic fluid hot stab was then stabbed into the hot stab port on the dummy pod. The line was flushed to remove any contaminants and prepare the line for testing. The sealant hot stab was then removed from its parking hole. The sealant hot stab was then inserted into the hot stab receptacle. All lines were pressure tested at 10,000 PSI. HW525 was injected into the hot stab and observed discharging from the leak site. At this point, no sealant has been injected into the system. This is a view of the gauge on the ROV showing the system being pressured up by the ROV pump and then the pressure decreasing as a function of the leak rate. Sealant was then injected into the system and transported to the leak site. After 31 strokes of the pump, sealant was seen emerging from the leak site. After an additional 8 strokes, the leak was sealed and was holding 10,000 PSI.
the seal was then strengthened by applying a series of pressure cycles. The pressure was bled off to zero using a bleed valve on the manifold. After each bleed off, the pressure was rapidly increased to 10,000 PSI and held for a one hour period. After several cycles, a loss in pressure was observed. Upon inspection of the fitting, it was found that a new leak site had developed on the opposite side of the fitting. Seal tight sealant was again applied to effectively repair the leak. Once again, a series of pressure cycles interspersed with hold periods was used to seal the leak. However, a very slight bleed off was observed at pressures above 9000 PSI. Accordingly, the ROV was moved to perform some additional work, allowing the sealant time to cure. After approximately 30 hours, the ROV returned and again pressured up on the system. The pressure held a satisfactory test at 10,000 PSI. The leak was cured. After test acceptance, the seal tight hot stab was removed. Then the lines were flushed to remove the excess sealant and fill the system with hydraulic fluid. The system was then tested to ensure pressure integrity. After pressure testing, the dummy pod was pulled and replaced with the original control pod. The well was then returned to service.